Hey guys, it's Aarti and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the bell icon. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the part-time jobs in the UK. So this might be a beneficial video for you if you are planning to come here to study. So let's begin. So before coming here, my first priority was to work at the university itself. The second priority was to work in my field that is like photography, content creation or digital marketing, marketing in a firm in Lincoln, uh, but outside of the uni university. And the third priority was to work in supermarkets. And I didn't even consider working in a kitchen because I didn't know how to cook before I came here. So that was not even an option for me. So to start with, I'll tell you how many jobs I'm currently doing and what are my roles. So I'm currently doing like three jobs and um, all of them are luckily at the university. I got my first job literally after I came here like within one or two weeks and there was a job opening as a video editor at Lincoln International Business School and it is my own school and I applied to that job literally the next day after I came here. I got my second job in October and it is with the international office again with the University of Lincoln and my job title is International Student Ambassador and as a part of that role I have to create content, videos, cover events, click pictures, uh, give student panel talks, testimonials, participate in photo shoots and basically attract potential students who will choose University of Lincoln and give them all the information. Then I got my third job not too long ago, like one or two weeks back um, with the Res Life team as a one community ambassador. So the Res Life team is like they help with the accommodations and um, they host like a bunch of events to um, interact with the students, they give mental support, they have like their own res life launch where people can go chill and stuff like that. So as a part of my role again I have to create content, cover events, click pictures and all that jazz. All in all I'm really really grateful that I got all my three jobs at the university itself and mainly I get to do what I enjoy doing the most. Also, the university is very understanding. They help you prioritize your studies and work around your timetable. So it's not that hectic for you. My video editing job is like I can choose where I have to work from. I can either work from my house, like from my room or uh, from the office as well. But I just generally choose to work from my room itself because it's much easier because I have this whole setup that I need to carry. And also with the timetable, I don't really get time to work during the day. But for the other two jobs, I mainly have shifts um, and I have to complete it during a week or on that day, if, an, if especially if it is an event and I need to cover that. So yeah. Also, it is not that hard to get a part-time job as a student because even as a student, before coming here, I was anxious. Um, I was a bit tensed of whether I'll get a job over here or not but honestly just be patient and as a student you will have a lot of job opportunities at the university itself so just make sure and like you can register with the university's career and employability team itself and as apply as soon as you can apart from the university there are other jobs like um, working in the kitchen at restaurants, organizing products at supermarkets, cashier jobs, receptionists, cleaning jobs, warehouse jobs, also like working at small stores, cafes, fast food restaurants, care homes, etc. So these are just some of the examples. And to get any of these jobs, you need to create a good CV and a portfolio. And please prepare that in a good way and do that before you come here so that you don't waste time and after coming here you can just send it out as soon as you can and also make an indeed profile indeed is a free app it's basically just like linkedin you just download the app uh, make your entire profile over there and you can just choose part-time jobs and a city that you want to do a part-time job in and you can see all the information over there, salary, the job description, everything like that. This sounds like a sponsored ad, but it is not. And like I said, it's 
very easy to apply it's just like linkedin you just apply to the job answer any questions if they ask you and that's it just wait for the response apart from indeed i have not used any other apps even on indeed i had made my profile but i didn't really use it to apply anywhere because i got all the jobs in the university and applied to it through email um, but you may want to check out apps like read and glassdoor also please keep in mind that as an international student you only have 20 hours per week please do not accept that because you'll get in trouble and you do not want that and do not expect that you will get the entire 20 hours per week of a job it completely depends sometimes you will get 20 hours sometimes you may get 15 to 16 hours and sometimes you may get even less so it completely depends on job to job and with that you can get up to 9 to 10 pounds per hour on average um, again it depends on the job you're doing but if you take a warehouse job or a job that you have to work um, at night they pay more for that so it completely depends but you may want to check national minimum wage and check what's applicable for you and I'm just giving this information just so that you can get an idea of how much you'll earn per hour. Also, if you're coming to LinkedIn, you do not have to worry about getting a job because there is a career and employability team which helps you through it. Like they host like how to get a part time job seminars, workshops, all of that jazz. And also, if you go and register yourself and tell them that you need a job, um, they'll add you to your email list and whatever jobs that are available they can send it to you via email every week and also they have a UOL careers uh, page on Instagram where they post all the new job openings that you can apply to and if you do not want to work in the university you can go on the high street there are several shops hundreds of shops over there and mainly they have if they're hiring students mainly they have like a poster displaying that we're hiring students uh, and then you can go and apply but if not if they do not have a poster you can go inside talk to them see if they're hiring students or not and basically just give out your cv and portfolio so keep keep that handy and just make a good um, cv and portfolio according to uk guidelines and yeah basically that's that's my advice and if you just do this you will 100 percent get a job so just be patient that's it that's that's the main advice that i'll give you be patient so that's it for this video guys i really hope this video helped you and if you have any questions please leave them down below and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and also if you want me to do any other videos on part-time jobs like just leave them down in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video please give this video a huge like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye